series by Better, helping you find the best products and best bargains. This morning, it is all about hair dryers. I spend a lot of time with one of these every morning. Our Becky Worley was there when Wirecutter tested out 15 of the best blow dryers. So, Becky, which ones are the best? Cecilia, you're so right. For something that's so completely integral to our morning routines, you'd think we'd pay more attention. Well, luckily, the folks at Wirecutter rated the top blowers and showed us their geeky methodology for picking the best. Hair dryers. Except for these dinky things from hotel rooms, they're all the same, right? Well, no. We head to the Aveda Institute where Global Artistic Director Ricardo Dennis explains. What makes a good dryer? Durable, lightweight, strong airflow. On the flip side. What's a bad dryer? I think we'll literally just feel cheap. The folks at Wirecutter quantified some of these factors, assessing 15 popular hair dryers for airspeed, max heat, weight, and cost. What's our methodology? We want to test two inches from the weather meter. And according to managing editor Ganda Suthivarakam, these factors matter more than the marketing terms you hear, like tourmaline, ionic, and ceramic. What does that even mean? What you really want is something that's hot and fast. This gizmo will give us the numbers that matter. We used a weather meter to test how hot and fast they were. First, demonstrating on their budget pick, the Infinity Pro from Conair. There it got to about 145 degrees. It's competitive in performance, costs $25, but at 1.2 pounds, it's heavier than the other picks. Next. Now look at this, this is like a piece of art. This is our main pick. This is the Rusk Weightless. Weighing in at less than a pound, it's hot, hitting 150 degrees in their tests. And it blows. In this case, that's a good thing. In our test, it got up to about 50 miles an hour. It costs $80. Another rust dryer, the CTC Light technology, receiving wire cutters runner-up spot. It costs a little more at $100, but comes with a diffuser for those with curly hair. Now, this is the Cadillac of blow dryers. The Dyson. 400 bucks for a hair dryer? It's $400, but it is a marvel of technology. It's as hot as you're gonna get, as fast as you're going to get, and it's beautiful. It's also quieter, and probably my favorite feature, there are no fan blades, and the intake is here in the handle, so it doesn't suck your hair in accidentally. But does it dry your hair that much faster? Ricardo performs a simulation using this mannequin. She's a little creepy, but this is real hair? Yeah, this is actually real hair. And as we time the dryers for speed on similar swatches of wet hair, the variation is not extreme. Okay, 45 seconds. 45 seconds. A little faster. 41 seconds. The times range from 39 to 45 seconds, but with the Dyson, 31 seconds. It's a pretty big difference. Yeah, it's about 25% less than the other dryers. Making this experience go faster is a worthwhile endeavor, but according to Wirecutter, it may not be worth an extra $300 plus. Dollars. <laughs> Even if you're not buying a new hair dryer, a couple of tips to dry your hair faster. Don't dry in the same room where you just took a shower. Uh, the humidity can really slow things down. And this next tip is genius. Don't plug your hair dryer into a power strip. It can throttle the hair dryer, making it blow slower and cooler. So Cecilia, to speed up your morning routine, plug straight into the wall. You know I need all the time I can get with this hair, Becky. <laughs>